Hello guys, Sean Fuckett here. Manchester City 2, West Ham 1. Goals from... Uh, it was a Gundogan 34th minute uh, goal. And Fernandinho, who came off... Uh, who came on for Sterling going off, came on and got the second goal in the 90th minute. Um, West Ham pulled one back through Lanzini in... In ninety plus four, add in added time, and then and then the, we we managed to see it out. That's a really good win, that because they beat us last time when we played them in the cup on penalties, and the last couple of times we've played them, they've made it difficult for us. Because like remember when there was no fans there last year, that they, they made it really difficult for us. We on, we only won one two one at the Etihad and won all the way. So uh, that's an impressive victory because. Not some sides will play West Ham this season and draw or lose. And and, and I'm not saying any sides like top teams as well. West Ham of Chelsea next week. I wouldn't be surprised if they played like that, but just played a bit better defensively if they got anything out of it. I think that's a that's a good end to November because with the fixtures that we had, we had United away, Everton at home. We had PSG at home in the Champions League, which we had to win to claim first spot to confirm our qualification for the round of 16 of the Champions League. And we, we, we've also played um, Club Bruges twice. Um, and we... Well, one was in November and one was in October. The the one at home, we, we, we did well to win because cause we, we weren't that great in the first half, but we turned it around and, and beat them 4-1 in the second half. And... And the performance was really, really good today because with like the circumstances of the pitch not being perfect due to the snow in Manchester and to play the way that we did, I'm proud of the boys. And I think Laporte, apart from where he got the yellow card and he was a bit shaky in the first half, I think second half, he, 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 they, they, they switched from sides, um, Diaz and Laporte. So just to make sure that... Laporte didn't like do anything stupid and pick up a second yellow, which would rule him out even past the Villa game because he he was out of the Villa game anyway due to he's picked up five bookings. So that no now probably confirms that Stones and Diaz will start away at Villa at Villa Park on Wednesday night. And I thought Maris had a solid game. I thought Bernardo did really well with Rodri as well. And I think we could have had three or four. That's the thing is. We 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 made that game a a nervy game out of not taking our chances. Because I think we 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 uh, in it, there was periods in the second half that I was concerned of that the players looked a bit tired because obviously we 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 we, we played once already this week at home to PSG. But the thing is, um, that it, that we have got a a a good a good thing about it is that we didn't travel. So that would because we'd have even more tired players if we did have to travel across Europe. I think I'll do a I'll do a I'll do an Aston Villa preview in the week. Whether Jack Grealish that will to, will he be back to play against his former club? We don't know because he, he they haven't done like full proper training. They've only done like light training by themselves. So we don't we don't know. I think Grealish is more serious than Foden, but I think they should be back in a matter of time. I think Jesus worked really hard despite not scoring. He he wasn't that good in front of goal, but I think like off the ball and like his pressing and like his skills was 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 fantastic. I thought Sterling did really well. I think he's 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 his just his final ball and like his thinking is not always on it, and that stops him from being like in where in the elite bracket of players. But if he if he if he did that, because in my opinion he's a world class player, but if he wanted to get to like the top four, maybe five players in the world, then I think he'd have to like sort out like his thinking and like when he has to think about it, and, like about like hit hitting it first time and like playing the ball. I think. I think Zinchenko will feel really hard done by because of considering on how well he played for us last season. In like he got us to the final of the Champions League and he was our first choice left back for majority of of last season. Um, but Cancelo, but Cancelo, this season so far has been probably the best right back. Well, not better, but well, well, I think we've had we've got the best right back 
and left back in the world, in, in my opinion, at this moment in current time in worldwide football. And we, Walker and Cancelo, uh, uh, Walker's excellent defensively. I think the difference between the two, like, I couldn't say, I'm not going to say something stupid and say Cancelo's better than Walker. I think Walker's slightly edged it because of his, like, physicality and defensive play. But I think once uh, Walker does go, then we can just slot, we wouldn't have to buy another right back we could just slot Cancelo into that right 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 back role and, and then just buy another left back that's what I would do when it when it comes to Walker's um either retires at City or when he leaves I'm very impressed with that performance I thought we were defensively solid for a majority of the game and I think with the circumstances of of like the the surface being slippy but because of the snow and you've got to give credit to the the staff that helped clear up the pitch like ready and prepared for the second half so round of applause to them thanks for watching like share subscribe and i'll do five things learned on this game tomorrow and i hope you guys have won the rest of your evening hopefully we can at least see united at least get a draw versus chelsea at stamford bridge because currently we're level on points with Chelsea were just behind them on goal difference. So, if if United could get a win or a draw, that would be massive. Considering that we're only a point behind them now, and if we and if we and if they they Chelsea are going to be under some pressure if if they lose today because because they're only then Liverpool and, and City are like right down on their skin. And the thing that I, I would say with Chelsea is they're a very good side. They've got a very good philosophy and they've got a very good defence. But I think like when it comes to like um, um, players being at like African, the African Cup of Nations, they could struggle. And I'm not sure if like Liverpool and City, they could go on a, on a like, like long winning streak that would like um, make them like... Uh, run away Premier League leaders. I don't think anyone is going to re run away the the league, by the way. I think it will go down quite down to the wire. Like, maybe, like, to the last day of the season or, like, maybe into the last couple of weeks and games of the season. I think Bernardo Silva and Rodri... Rodri and Jesus, I would say, these are, has been... If, as of, like, so far, their best seasons in City shirts. And, and I think Bernardo... This is debatable, like... Is it was his eighteen nineteen season when we won the formidables, and we won the treble, or was this season as a so far better? If it comes down to this season and we say like won a double or a treble, um, and he's been playing to that like quality, um, like desire and 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 brilliance, then I I I would say that he, this season would surpass that season. I think Bernardo Silva is like a player that like doesn't get like enough credit in the media as he deserves. I think it's all about Kevin De Bruyne at City, but I think like for the last like um, we play better without Kevin De Bruyne, and then like players like Bernardo and Gundogan tend to step up when Kevin De Bruyne is not in the side. And I would say Bernardo Silva, he might not be as much gifted as De Bruyne, but his work rate and his tracking back and his and his like constant running around the pitch, all over the pit. Over, all over the park, and and he and he's in. He could play at any position and do a decent job. He could play in goal. He could play. He could, well, maybe not in goal because he's not that big. But I think I'd back him to play like, uh, um, um multiple positions because he can play on the right. He can play in the, in in the CM creative midfield and middle of the midfield, and he he can also play as a false nine. And you never know. He could he could do like a job as like a a cam or like a, maybe even a job at like left back because he's very good defensively. I'm just going to turn my light on so you can actually see me. So where that puts City is, that puts us level on points. And if Chelsea lose, then like all we'd have to do is beat Villa and then we'd go top of the Premier League table. And But then that would also have to mean that they'd have to lose the next game as well. But we'd, we'd go permanently... We'd go for a short time top of the, the league. I think Fernandinho made a difference in that game because we didn't really have any other like substitutions on that were on the bench that could really like change the game or like see us out because we had Makati and Palmer and I don't think you you would really want to put them in that nervy environment like say if they like made one bad pass in it and it led to us conceding a goal 
or like if they like had a chance to to score and and ended up having a chance that they missed and then it it cost us getting the three points out of the game. So I don't think Pep wanted to rest that. I think their next game that they're playing is probably Leipzig away in the Champions League because obviously we've we're qualified and we're also guaranteed to be leaders of that group going into the knockout stages. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Sit. City have won their fifth consecutive game in a row in all competitions. And thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Up the blues. And I will do some like extended like reviews and like five things learned and more discussions about this game tomorrow. And I'll do I'll do some build up um to the Villa game in the week. And also I'll do the reactions of half time and full time when it comes to the Villa game. And hopefully we can pick up the all three points there as well. And and just. And, and like just keep getting three points closer every game to getting that Premier League title back in our trophy cabinet in May. And every three points that we get is is a free is three points closer to winning the Premier League. So that's why we we can't afford to uh make any slip ups and get like one point or no points in our upcoming games. We just need to keep up with this intensity and and we and we, I think we could we need to actually go on a winning streak because I don't think Otherwise, it could be like a bit of a tricky situation where, like, it, it it goes down right to the wire, like to the last day of the season. I think that's likely anyway. But I think, uh, if we go in a, a run, then you never know what could happen because like teams could like throw us around and we could go on on and and and, and win the league and. and I think we can win all the, all the three trophies that we're in if we play at our best. It's just whether, like, Pep... I think, like, most games that I can see coming up, if the only games that... The, the only way I see us losing is if, like, Pep, like, overthinks it. Because if the way that Pep's thinking at the moment and the way that we're playing at the moment with the with, with the intensity and, and how well we're pressing and, 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 and playing, like, like so well, I, I only see us... Um, losing by our own downfall or Pep's decision, bad decision making. If he does decide to do that, so if Pep doesn't do that, then I, then I don't see us slipping up anywhere unless it's like our own downfall. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening. And goodbye.